that's a considerably better overview of the inside of the unit. I really wish I, I could do this unit justice by telling you what all this stuff does, but I was born after the age of analog TV, so we're out of luck. But we can at least take all the bolts out and have a quick hardware look at them. So this is the voltage regulator. We've got three trimmers, probably corresponding to our three transistors round the back. And what's that? Three 723s, LM723s. Pretty classic linear regulator. External input. What's that? That's a 4000 series logic, a 4093BP. A couple of these nasty little plastic electrolytics. Trimmers, caps, lots of tiny little metal can transistors. What are they? BSY81s and a few 3209s. Signal adder. Not too much going on there. Mostly passives and more metal can transistors. What are they? 2 and 3209s for the most part. And a little 741 op amp hiding in the corner there. Square wave. Lots of transistors, <laughs> bulge resistor going across a coil there, trimmers, what's the brand of these trimmers anyway, they are Spectral brand, hmm, never heard of those, again lots of 3209 transistors and a couple of MC, MC741 op amps. Square wave and matrix. Uh, we're, we're, I, I think we're starting to get a general trend going here. Another 741, uh, more 390. Well, this is actually a 2N930, this one here, but yeah, we've got more 3209s. Little tiny transistors, nothing exciting. T2T pulse generator. Well, that's something new. What's that? And a 74LS221. More trimmers, another budget for system. Maybe this is sexually intentional. It looks very well made. Uh, more trimmers, more trimmers, more trimmers, more transistors. Well, what's the price? A 3209. Pulse ma T pulse matrix and pedestal. We're really getting into analog video territory, which I don't have the slightest clue of understanding. More transistors. Well, jolly well, a 3209. <laughs> there are quite a few more of these blue Philips caps sitting around that I would like to see because these are not favoured for their reliability. 20T pulse and bar. And we've got a little transformer going there. It seems more blue Philips caps. Another 74LS2122. And is that? Yeah, 74LS122N. 74LS00N. 
more trimmers, and I bet these are 32 09s. Yep. No, hang on, that's a 3962. Jolly good, another transistor type. Chromer's tear case. Coil. Oh, a socketed. What's that? OM um, 14.9-6. No idea. Looks like an op hammer. Yeah, more blue Phillips caps. More trimmers. More 39.62s. 39.62. Lots of 39.62 cans on this. I'm not certain what the difference between that and the other common one is. But I'm certain Phillips have their reasons for using different models. A staircase generator. Yeah, this is one of those with a giant number of parts. And uh, EMI shielding around the back. So there must be some high frequency stuff going on on that one. Yeah, perhaps we'll have this one out before actually. Some uh, 40, 35, three of them sitting there. So, 2N98531s these can seem to be, and more jolly good Philips blue caps, which are going to go bad if they aren't already. I do like these little ferrite cores they have all over. Sawtooth generator. Not much going on there. Are these two and nine four nine eight fours? Hey, another model. Nine eight four nine eight four. Uh, Phillips caps. Nothing exciting. These boards are quite boring, to be frank. Without knowing what exactly they are doing and without having a schematic to look at. I really wish I had the manual for this. Hey, there we go. The sign shaper plus marker board has quite a bit of grounding going on. If that's supposed to be some kind of cheaper EMI shielding, I don't know. This does look a bit more high frequency with all these decoupling caps and it has some weird packet uh, from sisters there, probably. What are they? BF480. They almost look RF in nature. I can't say if I've ever seen them before then. Oh dear. Tandalimps, 15 microfarads, 16 volts. Triangle generator. Well, that's probably the most dense heap of metal cans we've had yet. What's that? Eight stacked right next to each other. 2N3209, most of them seem to be. More blue Phillips caps, more trimmers. And is this another yep, another 741 op pamp there? Better put it back lest the triangles fall out. Frequency control, and it certainly seems as if they want to be accurate with the frequencies given the number of trimmers. Someone certainly spent quite some time fiddling around with those. And here's a 4015 logic circuit, a whole heap of uh, 741s, uh, a, what's that, a CA. 3140E, two of those, no idea what they might be doing. Blue Phillips cap. <laughs> Blue Phillips cap. And some nice EMI shielding round the back. Watch out, it's gonna burst, it's the burst generator. And ooh, how we've got a rather big metal camp package. What's that? Say, two and twenty-four fifty-three. So it's oh, I'm not entirely certain what that would be. It might actually be a transistor pair. It seems to have six legs. 
So I definitely wouldn't be surprised if that's a double transistor pair matched in some form of current mirror application, maybe. An LM1496, a 4001, and another 4001. Well, this coil has some really fine windings on it. Really, really fine. That looks beautiful. Really beautiful. Don't impose on me, super imposition board. And we've got a socketed LM1496. It has another couple of different model cans. This is a BSV79, so will that be a little fit maybe? Another large uh, uh, metal can package there, a 2 and 2453. Another 4001. Uh, more blue Phillips caps. A 3962, another 3962, they love their 3962, and a cute little translucent trimmer cap there. Hmm, no more there. More stuff for the grey beads beard to take care of. Hmm. Sink interface. Oh, that's boring and integrated. Ah, we still didn't escape. We've got, what, four little metal cans of our 3962s. No, ah, that's a 2369. Ah, 2369, yeah, 2369s. And these are 74-series logic. 74-series logic, all of them. 7417, 74L is 90, 74L is 221. Did we have a 122 earlier? Yeah, this is 221, I don't know. 74L is 02, 74L is 221, 74L is 00. And we've got a data code there, 8449. So I was correcting my assumption of this being a mid 80s unit. Sink generator. Well, that's quite densely packed, I must say. More 74 phase and serious logic. And what's that? An LM311. Date code 8528. Uh, well, these are special indeed. OQ5502. I've never heard of anything like that. And an OQ5506. Hmm. Weird. More metal cans. Metal cans everywhere. 9852. BSV79. Another BSV79. BSV79. BS. Ah, oh, that's a different one. That's a BFW13. And a 2N2369. Do recognize that. 2N2369. And we've got a crystal here. What's that? Phillips. 10 kilohertz. <laughs> well, it could be 10 megahertz. I'm certain, probably. Yeah, pr I would. No, I actually have no idea what frequency that would be. I'm certain there's an RF type person in the audience who will be able to decipher that if they so desire. And the final board, we've got a sub-carrier generator, and we've got a cute little RF can there. What's it say? TCXO, is that some kind of filter? At uh, 8.867. No, 8. No, I. What's that? 80 gigahertz? No, 8.867237 megahertz. 
temperature range minus 20 to plus 70 degrees Celsius. Hmm. I'm actually not certain what that might be. Uh, wish I had a schematic. Lots of little cans here. Tune no, uh, 3962. More, yeah, it seems to be mostly 3962. There's another couple of little fats there. Blue Phillips cabs. An LM1496. Another LM311. 311. And a CA3140E. No idea what that would be. An LM301. And beyond that, nothing too exciting going on there. Just another nice looking board.